to share with you my latest journal and this is a traveler's notebook size uh, journal which measures eight and a quarter by four and a half there is one signature 72 pages front and back and it's spring themed i would say it's got flowers i've used various kits from artie may's tsunami rose um i think that's about it um my previous video was showing you how i made these clusters because I've got quite a few clusters going on through this. I sound a little bit out of breath, I've been dashing around. So, um, the cardstock is sewn onto some white cardstock which has been stenciled. And I've just done some layering here, some layering there. I didn't realise I was meant to leave one of the other embellishments that I'd made. Um, and this one says spring and it wasn't until I'd actually popped on this which you can't see now, that also was the same image, only in a larger scale. Um, so I just kind of covered it over because I was going to pop it on the side. But it looks really nice in the middle of that. So I'll put the link below to the tutorial that I showed how to make the clusters. This will be listed in my shop if you're interested. We have eyelets and organza ribbon as a closure. And the main pages that I've used are from Tsunami Rose and it's um, Charming Fragments, I think it's the first one. Done some stenciling all through um, the inside cover. Here's my first cluster and <clears throat> I've just got a pocket here with some stenciling in the background and just lots of ephemera and tags in each pocket. There's quite a lot in this. <clears throat> uh, some more ephemera here from Tsunami Rose. And we have a tag. Uh, this is Tsunami Rose as well. This is Artie Mays and it's from her calendar collection. You get um, journal cards and tags. So I just made a little kind of notebook thingy. A double journaling card. Hope I'm in frame. Yes, I am. And a Tiffany & Co tag just tucked in there. Got some edge punching. <clears throat> Paper bag. Some ephemera from the old design shop, a tag from uh, Artie Maze's A Touch of Spring. I was going to call this A Touch of Spring, but then I've got so many other different bits in here, I thought I'd just call it Cherish. <coughs> Excuse me. A letter from the old design shop, and I just used the ruler again to get the raggedy edges so that it kind of looks older than what it really is. <coughs> well, it is old, but it's just it's printed. A little monthly calendar there, uh, some squared paper, some crocheted trim, some more tsunami rose. Here another <clears throat> pocket with a cluster, different type of cluster because it's not up the way, it's across the way, but the same logic when you're making it uh, from tsunami rose. A tag that I made, some more ephemera. All ephemera can be written on on the back. <clears throat> Little Tiffany and Co. Tag, some vintage uh, digital music paper. All the papers <coughs> are all, all shimmery. Um, oops. Another cluster. I'm so enjoying making these. <coughs> Excuse me. Some ephemera. tag. Another journal piece from Tsunami Rose, as is this. <clears throat> and everything's been printed on my laser. Uh, this is another one from the calendar uh, journal cards and tags from Artie Mays. I will put the links below. So you can go over and check out Tsunami Rose and Artie Mays. Another tag here from Artie Mays. Love the birds. <clears throat> Another monthly calendar, and that's just stenciled. And then we've got one of these flip outs. You can journal or add something onto that. There's a lot of shimmer on these pages. Center of signature. 
another monthly calendar and another flip out which is all shimmery and stenciled. Another tag. The other side of the paper bag, <clears throat> some edge punching. Uh, another cluster, the little bunny rabbit. And here we have a journal card, a tag, Tiffany and Cole stamped on that. Another calendar journal card. And I've just popped a little bit of lace on the tops of them. And another double journaling card. And a Tiffany and Cole tag. Another cluster and here we just have some ephemera as is this a tag journaling card Tiffany and Co tag double journaling card and it all just slips in there And the little butterflies um, that I've added, there um, you get them with a, t a free tag set from Artie Mays on, I think it's on her website and it's also on her Facebook group. Her Facebook group is called Artie Mays and Friends. Another letter <clears throat> with the raggedy edges. And another monthly calendar. Another tag with the birdies. Another cluster. <clears throat> and we have some ephemera. A tag. Some more ephemera from Tsunami Rose. Another Tiffany and Co tag. Some more ephemera there from Tsunami Rose. And she's just brought out <clears throat> another new bundle that is now available on her shop. And the link will be below so you can go over and check that out. Um, I'm going to be having a play with that in the week. And another double journaling card. These are actually like full pages, for, but I just printed two to a page because I thought they were nice little journaling cards. So that is the journal. So as you can see, it's quite chunky. There is a lot inside these um, and obviously a lot can be moved around. I'll tie that in a minute. Um, like I said, this is for sale. I will put um, the link for that will be below. I will link RT Maze, Tsunami Rose and also my video tutorial on this just in case you haven't seen it. Um, so quick and easy. Uh, unbelievably easy and obviously they come out really nice so if you have any questions just ask and thanks for watching bye